7.7 is on acid rain or more appropriately acid deposition because it doesn't have to be just rain. It could be snail, snail, snow or hail, hopefully not snails. So to start off with, we want to talk about the pH scale. So the pH scale is a logarithmic scale, which means that every increase of one is actually a tenfold increase or decrease of hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions are measured in moles per liter, which if you don't, I haven't taken chemistry yet, if that doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. Uh, just know that there are more hydrogen ions when it's an acid and less when it's a base. Acid rain is a result of nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides. So nitrogen oxides resulting from motor vehicles and coal burning power plants will react in the atmosphere, mostly with water, to create nitric acid. And sulfur oxides, which come from coal burning power plants, react in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid. And then they'll rain down or snow down or snail down. <laughs> um, mostly in areas nearby um, nearby the sources. Now that's not to say that you know that those are the only places that experience acid rain, um, but it's most likely. Effects include the acidification of soil and water. So as it gets into that water in the soil, it becomes acidic and that's you know not good for living creatures that live in that soil or the water, or the plants as well. Um, it also corrodes human-made structures, so things that are made out of metal um, or calcium carbonate. So this could be things made out of stone, marble, cement, um, all sorts of things. That might include statues or buildings, gravestones, it, the list could go on. Uh, I just want to focus real quick on soil acidification. So soil acidification, what happens when the soil becomes acidic? It makes it so that aluminum ions are more soluble in soil. And aluminum, uh, what it does to the plant is it'll stunt root growth. And then because the roots don't grow very well, it's not getting the water and the nutrients required to keep that plant, you know, alive. So it dies. So one thing we can do if we have an area with, it, with acidic soil is remediate it with limestone. Limestone is also made of calcium carbonate. So you see this kind of pops up a lot, and that's just because calcium carbonate reacts with acids. So it can both, you know, be a bad thing if something is made out of calcium carbonate that we want to keep, but then we could also use calcium carbonate to eradicate, or not eradicate, but neutralize that acid. The impacts of acid rain do vary from place to place, and that's just based on, you know, what, is unique to that area. So in places that have a lot of natural limestone in their bedrock, uh, it may not have as much of an impact, and that's because the limestone can neutralize the acid um, and might not have um, as acidic of an effect on lakes and ponds.